Okay, time for a knife review. What you see here is the platypus made by Battle Horse Knives. And it's a little beat up because I did my usual abusive testing with it to see how well it holds up and it held up very well indeed. So first the specs, the uh, measurements, length and weight and, and all of that will be posted in the video description as always. The blade is made of 01 tool steel which is an excellent steel. Very tough and resilient, good edge retention. Really a good choice for any kind of knife, really. Uh, has a full flat grind, as you can see. Let me focus in on that a little more. There we go. It can, you can have it either with or without gun bluing. There are quite a few options available on the website also for the handle. So I've got the optional G10 liners here. You can see the, the black liners right there. There's also a variety of other colors available. You can have them in uh, brown, red, neon green, orange, pink, blue. So a lot of options there. The handle is really nice. This is definitely one of my favorite handles that I've tried so far. This texture here is great. It, it feels really good in the hand, makes it nice and secure. Uh, doesn't slip. And it just looks great as well. So this is really, really well done. Also the angles here, very nice. Feels extremely comfortable in the hand. Uh, if you see the gap right there, that's because during my abusive testing, I lost one of the two screws. So um, that's why, but if I press them together, you see there's no actual damage. It still fits. It just needs a replacement screw. That's really all it is. I should have made sure to tighten them before doing the tests, but well, I didn't think of it at the time because I'm scatterbrained. But in any case, <laughs> so as far as the sheath is concerned, you can have either a leather sheath or a kydex sheath, which you see here. This one has the tack lock for easy attachment to a belt. Knife fits very well in it. You don't hear a click on this one, but it's really in there very securely. So no worry about that. So it does require a firm tug to get it out. You can see the gun bluing has rubbed off a little bit. And that's because I decided to throw it. Yeah, I know. Why on earth would you want to throw a knife like this? That's really the last thing you would possibly do. But I find that it's a very good way of testing the material. Because, of course, throwing puts a lot of stress on a knife. Uh, much more so than regular use. So if there's any kind of problem, if there's any weakness in the handle or the blade or anything, if the tempering is not quite right, it's going to you know, crack or bend or you know, warp in some kind of way. And um, nothing like that happened. The, um, the edge was of course dulled from that. You know, just repeatedly throwing it into a wooden stump is not good for the edge, obviously but it has no actual damage. It just needs resharpening, that's all. So not a big deal. And yes, despite being a sheep foot type uh, blade, it does stick when you throw it. But the idea, or one of the ideas behind that shape is that you could use this, like for example, if you had to cut a seat belt after a car crash, you could do that without risking to stab the person or yourself. So it's, it's a safer design for working. And uh, in general, this kind of blade shape would be used for whittling, mostly, carving. Uh, that kind of work is, of course, completely different from throwing it, which is kind of crazy. But uh, yeah, it held up very well. I said the only thing that happened was that one of the screws popped out and I lost it because I was on the beach. And uh, well, <laughs> in the sand, stuff like that of course disappears. But, you know, again, I should have made sure to
tighten them beforehand. But yeah, the handle is still perfectly fine. I was quite impressed by that. That's usually something where you can expect the handle to take quite a bit of damage if you throw it against the stump, especially if you mess up the throw and it hits handle first. That's usually when it cracks, but no damage at all. Not even scratches or anything minor like that. It's really, it's still flawless. So what about the sharpness out of the box? When I first tried it, it was pretty sharp. Not amazingly so, but Definitely sharp enough to get the job done. You can see uh, cutting the fine phone book paper, it was tearing it just very slightly. You can see on the edges there. So uh, it could have been a little sharper. So let's try it now after use. As you can see, it still cuts the paper. So maybe I was a little too quick with saying that the edge was dull. Then again, no, never mind. The tip here, you can see that's that's where it's stuck in the wood. So this part is dull, the rest is still fine. So if I start the cut down here, okay, now that I'm saying it, of course it doesn't work. But there we go. <laughs> so what about the overall performance? Well, I was having some issues, which may very well be because I'm not used to small knives. I generally prefer large knives for the added versatility because um, there are just some things you can't do with a small knife. Uh, granted, there are also some things you can't do with a large knife, but generally a larger knife has a higher chance of being able to do the same jobs that a small knife can, while also, you know, having additional capabilities. Um, whittling does work. It just seems like it takes a little more effort than with some other knives, I feel. And when I tried cutting a tomato with it, it did not work very well at all. It was halfway crushing it. So really it's just not quite sharp enough for my taste, uh, at least for a knife of this size, because the way I see it, the smaller the knife is, the sharper it really needs to be to be able to work with it. And this is a little tough. Okay, what about cardboard? <clears throat> it's also struggling a little bit with that. As you can see, yeah, I should definitely resharpen this and then continue the review. How about that? Okay, let's try this again. Yes, that's nice. Oops. <laughs> one botched one, but otherwise very nice. Too sharp. Let's try the cardboard again. Because this really should not be a problem. There we go. That's better. Yeah, that's, that requires a lot less effort now. Still a bit more than with a larger knife, but yeah, this is far better. So overall, my only criticism is the initial sharpness. In hindsight, I wish I had done more test cutting before doing the abusive testing, because that way I would have been better able to judge the edge retention. As it is, I find it hard to tell because you would expect any blade to dull pretty quickly from throwing it into a wood block and it occasionally deflecting and clattering onto rocks and sand and other debris. So really, I can't say too much about it. However, O1 tool steel is well known for very good edge retention, so it shouldn't be a problem. Otherwise, this is a very well-made knife, fantastic handle, really like how it feels and how practical it is. The blade shape with a straight edge is very easy to resharpen. And I like that it's such an inconspicuous design. You should be able to legally carry this in a lot of places because of the overall shape and the length. And uh, yeah, personally, I'll prefer a longer blade for EDC carry, but this would be great 
as an alternative to a folder. So if you don't mind carrying a knife on your belt, then this is a great alternative. And it also looks very nice, I mean, especially with the liners. And you could get fancier than this, of course. You could get you know, dark handle scales with uh, bright uh, G10 liners or vice versa. So uh, there's quite a bit of options. The price is 110 US dollars and for that you get excellent quality. So overall I would definitely recommend the Platypus if you are looking for a small fixed blade for you know, light tasks. I wish Battle Horse Knives also offered large blades but then again they do custom jobs. So if you have something in mind they can make it for you. So yeah, check out the website. Personally I'm definitely liking it. Uh, this was sent to me for review for free, just so you know, but um, yeah, would I have bought it? Uh, probably not just because of the size, but um, quality-wise, no problem. Would I have bought a longer version of this? Most definitely. So yeah, hope you found this helpful and thanks for watching.